But what makes a good dad? Is it someone who's home every night for dinner, who sees you off to school? Can you be a good dad even if you don't live under the same roof as your kids? Well, Franklin County Children's Services answers all this by saying a good dad is simply an engaged one. So as we celebrate Father's Day, I would like to welcome Director of Ongoing Services, Jesse Lozer, along with proud dad, Leroy Jordan. So welcome both of you to daytime. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Jesse, we know the mission of FCCS in general is to protect children. So I want you to talk about, as part of that process, how parents fit into that mission, how fathers really fit into that mission. Yes, anytime um, we're engaged with the family, we definitely want the fathers involved from the very beginning, not just searching for them at the end of the case or searching for them through the middle. But we want them involved in the beginning because when they're involved, that also brings the whole paternal side in. So there's another set of grandparents, cousins, um, aunts and uncles. So, so there's stability all the way throughout. Okay, gotcha, all important. So in what ways are you encouraging or helping these fathers do just that, stay involved? Um, uh, our caseworkers are out there every month um, trying to locate the parents that we haven't been able to find and after we do locate the parents we're bringing them in for pro-social events. Um, we're doing um, um, visitation within our center. We may take them on events um, start starting by anything in the community, getting them involved in their education, in their uh, medical appointments, and then kind of progressing to some more um, events like taking them to COSI or the zoo or I events more in the community like that to establish and, right. and help them work on that. Have a little fun with their yes. kids. That's yep. what the good part is. That's right. Do you find that fathers are, are hesitant sometimes to come in and say even, you know, yes. I need help? Yeah, definitely, because sometimes when there's that large gap of time that they haven't seen their child, um, that they're, they're sometimes a little nervous mm. about engaging that time. Is they, they're not sure how their child is going to respond, or they feel that there's going to be a, a misperception of how um, our agency is going to respond to them. And as long as safeguards are in place, everything is going to be fine. Because we definitely, um, that bond between the parent and the father and the child is most important. And we can bring them in and we, we, we can work on building that together. And I introduced Leroy as a proud dad. So how many kids do you have, Leroy? I have five by my first marriage and one in my second marriage. So a father of six. Yes. Congratulations on all that. That's a lot of work. <laughs> so why is being a father and a good father at that to all of your kids so important to you? Well, when I was growing up, I didn't have my father. So I made it my mission to be there for them and try to guide them in the right direction so they can be men or be females of power and statute or whatever the case may be. Right, you want to raise them to be good people, to be right. in, in society. So how has FCCS helped you do that? Well, they, um, they've always been there. Whatever you need, they're there for you. The only thing you do is pick up the phone and call, and they make sure that everything happens as needed. So they was there. I mean, they started us out with just uh, like a couple hours a day visits. Then we went from that to uh, weekend visits. And then from there, we went to um, um, like stayovers and stuff like that. So they did a lot of stuff to help out. They just and I imagine it doesn't just help your kids, but you probably love every single second that you get to spend with those kids. Yes, yes I do. So we're celebrating Father's Day coming up this weekend. Is it gonna be a special day for you? Are you looking forward to it? Yes, because it's the first time we've been a family for a couple years now. So to put it all in perspective, we're gonna do just fine, I think. All right, well, that's gonna be a good day. Look forward to it. So Jesse, tell us what happens to the self-esteem of kids who maybe either have their father there as a positive role or don't have their father there. Yeah, definitely when the, when the father is there, their self-esteem definitely rises. We've definitely seen their academic successes go up, especially in Mr. Jordan's case, his son has a 3.5 grade point average now. Nice. Um, <laughs> a, a lot of the delinquency behaviors go down. That first time, you know, attempting with alcohol and maybe drugs, that usually decreases or gets pushed back. And just that overall stability of having that second parent there is really critical. For, 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 the, for the kids. Okay, and FCCS always there to help fathers, going to expand even and try to help more, is that the goal? Yes, that's definitely the goal, to try to engage right away from the beginning, bring in dads from, from the, the first step and make it a whole um, collaborative effort with both sides